YouTube, welcome back to Dwayne's World. So are you looking for a better way to catch your clippings on your California trimmer? Well, this is the video for you. And I have a really big announcement, so you better stay tuned. All right, so welcome back to season two, episode 31 here on Dwayne's World. So what are we doing today? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can improve the performance out of your California trimmer grass catcher with a new accessory a California trimmer is bringing to market. We're gonna be taking a look at California trimmer's brand new grass shield extender. All right, so I'm very excited about today's episode because it's not only gonna be featuring what I believe to be a really great product, but also I'll be having a very important announcement that I'll be sharing with you guys later in the video. That, let me go ahead and talk to you guys about the California Trimmer's grass shield performance and some of the comments I may have made in the past. All right, so one of the things I just wanna mention that I don't think I talk about enough in some of my previous videos is the fact that the California Trimmer reel mower, the design of it, has been around for a lot of years. And that says a lot about the actual design itself, meaning it works. So why now has California Trimmer maybe decided to come out with an accessory like the actual grass shield extender? Well, one of the things that I think is great is in the time that we live in now with social media and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all these ways now for customers to directly reach out to the manufacturers and share their experiences is a great thing. Meaning manufacturers now have the ability to really kind of dive in and see what customers are saying about their products. And that, it could, and that could be really, really good or that could be really, really bad depending on which side of the aisle you are on a particular product. But I think for California Trimmer, they're in a very good place. So I don't think they have anything to worry about. Now, one of the things that I love though about California Trimmer is when you have a design, as long as it's been around and really truly you know, lasted and stood the test of time, I think it's great that a manufacturer and people at California Trimmer still want to look to improve and really listen to their customers. So the Grass Shield Extender, you know, is obviously a brand new product that they felt was necessary to bring to market. And I absolutely love it. But one of the things I also really love about it is the fact that it's an accessory and not necessarily a design upgrade. Now, accessories, in my opinion, are really what makes it great because of the fact that you have the ability to take it on, take it off if you don't like it and you don't want to buy it, you don't have to buy it. So they're really allowing the customer to choose what works best for them. And that's awesome. Right, so when it comes to the actual grass catcher and how well it performs, I think there's a couple of reasons why we're seeing a little more talk as it relates to this particular topic. The first thing, it's a good thing is because in my opinion, I think a lot more people are getting into real mowing, which is awesome. You know, maybe this is something that came out of the pandemic. It's definitely how I started my YouTube channel and really started getting into real mowing is I was home more. So because of the fact that I was home more, you know, I kind of wanted to spend a little more time on my lawn, invest more time in my lawn and invest more quality equipment in my lawn. And that's where I picked up the California trimmer. And I think there's a lot of people that are in that same boat as me. And number two, and this is my opinion only, is because real rollers came out with their grass topper a little while ago. And the grass topper, I think in some ways, have had some mixed opinions on how well it performs. Now, if you're interested in seeing a video on the actual grass topper, I have a couple of them on my channel that has to do with the McLean and also has to do with the California trimmer. So I'll go ahead and link them towards the end of this video here. So that way you guys can take a look at those if you're interested in those. And if you are, head over to Real Rollers and pick one up for yourself because I think it's a great product. However, in this video, it's not about the grass topper. It's about the California trimmer grass shield extender. Now, I will show you in this video the grass topper in action. And in fact, what I'll probably do is break up the video, meaning half of it with the grass topper mowing, half of it without, just so you guys can see how well it performs one way or the other. Again, it's not about the grass topper performance. It's about this new accessory that California Trimmer has now added. So with that, let me go ahead and show you guys how you install the grass shield extender on the California Trimmer. All right, guys, so one of the things I just like to do is I think it's important as a YouTuber, and it might even be a guideline, I don't know, but I don't need a guideline to tell me this is the right thing to do, is to be transparent with all of my viewers and be honest with all of my viewers. So one of the things that I wanna make sure you guys understand is I did not purchase the actual grass shield extender. It was sent to me from California Trimmer. 
Now, one of the things I would say about a product that's sent to me, it does not mean that California Trimmer is in any way advising me or paying me to do this review. This review is my opinion and my opinion only. The only thing I would say that California Tremor would probably ask, even though they didn't ask, for me to advise you guys on is to make sure you take the time to actually read the instructions so that way you're installing whatever accessory onto the California Tremor the right way. Outside of that, and again, they didn't even tell me to say that, that is something I would ask you guys to do at the same time, is always take that minute to read those instructions so that way you have a full understanding of the way the product was designed and how it was intended to be used. So as it relates to the performance of the item, that opinion is gonna be my opinion only, not the California Trimmer opinion, not any other person's opinion, just my opinion here on Dwayne's World. Ultimately, it's up to you guys to decide whether or not it's the right product for you. All right, so let me just show you guys what you get when you purchase the California Trimmer's Real Blade Extension Kit. You get the actual Real Blade Extender itself, you get your instructions, as well as a couple of adhesive tabs, and I'll kind of explain to you guys what those are and how you actually use them. All right, so let's go ahead and take a little bit of a closer look here at the actual extension shield. One of the things I would say as soon as I pick it up is the weight. It appears to be very, very well made. They used a very good high quality steel, which I'm very happy to see. The coating on it also is very, very nice. They went with this satin finish, which I absolutely love. It kind of matches the actual finish on the actual California trimmer, which is very nice to see. Now, one of the questions I did ask California trimmer is why they chose to go with black versus going with green, which would then match the mower. And their answer to me actually makes a lot of sense. They wanted to have the extension shield be known that it's an accessory. And I understand that. So they wanted it to be differentiated from the mower, which I can absolutely respect. One of the things that also probably catches your eye at first are these actual fins. Well, for those of you that are new to reel mowing, the way that the reel is actually set up is because of the cylindrical design, it's gonna shoot grass in a certain direction. And on the California trimmer, it wants to shoot it in this direction here. So what these fins basically do is it redirects the airflow so that way the grass then lands in a more center position into the actual grass catcher. And I absolutely love that. And you may see that on other reel mowers as well, um, but that is actual and functional design and where you're actually seeing them on an angle versus just being straight. All right, the other thing I just wanted to point out is, and here's a kind of a side profile for those of you that are curious on what it looks like from the side, but you're gonna notice these little knobs here on the top. The purpose of these knobs is actually to secure it to the reel mower. And I'll show you guys that as we're going ahead and installing it. One of the things I do like about it is it appears to be a very functional thing and it appears to be very easy to use, which I'm glad to see. So with that, let's go ahead and install it on the California trimmer. All right, so one of the things I've already done here is I went ahead and cleaned off the surface here, but the instruction asks you guys to install these adhesive strips here on the actual existing grass shield. The purpose of them, and as you guys can see here, let me kind of zoom in, is they are textured. So when you actually secure the grass shield extender to this, this is what it's going to be biting down on. It's one of the things I kind of love about the fact that they thought about this because I was originally thinking when seeing the California trimmer extension shield that it may actually damage the existing grass shield because of the fact you're going to have to tighten down something to the existing grass shield. So I really love the fact that they thought about this so that way we keep the existing grass shield really looking good. All right, so as you can see here, I went ahead and put that one on there and we have the one that matches on the opposite side. I just want to mention as you install the grass shield, the portion here that's actually the bottom of the actual grass shield extension will actually sit on top of the frame rail, not on the inner portion of it. So it is something you do want to take a look at. And the purpose of that is to make sure that the grass shield has adequate space so it doesn't ever comes in contact with the actual reel. So with that, let me go ahead and put it on. All right, so this is what I was talking about, guys. So as I'm actually installing here, you guys may or may not be able to see, but this portion here has actually fallen into the frame rail. So I kind of want to just adjust it so that way it's sitting on top of the frame rail. And now I can kind of feel where it's at. So now I'm going to go ahead and just actually start securing these down and move it over just a hair to kind of even it out on both sides. And now I'm actually, I could feel that I'm actually on top of the actual frame. So that's where I want to start to secure it. And I'm going to do the same thing here on the opposite side all right so as we can see there so now all i'm doing is i want to make sure it's like you know in there as far back as it can go so as you guys can see there i went ahead and just snugging down this side here i'm just going to snug each side down you know a little by little 
uh, just to make sure it's equal pressure on both sides. And now it actually feels pretty good. All right, so that side feels tight. This side feels tight. And one of the things I would probably recommend is still go ahead and check that, you know, maybe before you mow each time, just to make sure none of those that actually backed off. You always want to make sure this extension shield is secure to your mower before you actually start to engage your reel. All right, guys, so one of the ways I'm going to mow on this video is I'll do a part of my lawn without the grass catcher, a part of it with the grass catcher, and a part of it with the actual grass topper on the grass catcher. <laughs> So, so that's it's almost like a three-part mowing video. But what I'm going to do in this first area here, and let me kind of turn the camera around. All right, so probably on this third of my lawn here, I'm probably going to use the grass catcher. And, all right, and the reason why is because in this part of my lawn here is where I'm battling a lot of that spurge. And I want to catch those clippings. I do not want to return that spurge back to the lawn. Uh, and I think that's part of the issue that I've been experiencing is in some cases I probably should be catching my clippings where I wasn't. So with that, let me go ahead and start up the mower. All right, so I went ahead and installed the grass catcher. Let's go ahead and start it up. Oh, and really quick, high to cut, three quarter inch. So I think for the most part, I'm out of Spurgeville. <laughs> there might still be a little bit of Spurge, you know, kind of sprinkled out here or there. But, you know, for the most part, that big patch that I had, I think I pretty much captured and bagged now. Now, at the same time, I want to point something out. If you guys have been following me for a while and you've watched my Real Rollers grass topper video on the California trimmer, you may remember how much grass was actually on top of the topper whenever I was continuously mowing. Now I've probably mowed about a little less than about a third of my lawn, maybe a quarter of my lawn. And I did that one shot for you guys to see where I did not have grass coming on top of it when I was actually mowing with that point of view shot. Now, well, let me kind of show you guys right now what the grass topper looks like as I just finished up this last pass. All right, guys, so let me kind of show you guys. I have not yet emptied the grass topper at all. It's been on my lawn, as you guys can see here. I've mowed about a third of my lawn. And there's only a tiny bit of grass right here, as you guys can see. Now, that may have already been there, to be honest with you. My grass topper was not the cleanest of grass toppers when I put it on the real mower here. You know, I have used it in the past. Um, so I have probably have some residual grass clippings on top. But I just want to show you guys the difference. If you remember, and I'll try to find a video clip here, and I'll put it on the actual screen here just to show you guys a comparison and how now with the grass shield does with the actual grass topper installed. Seems to be a pretty awesome combo, if you ask me. So with that, let me go ahead and take off the grass topper. I'm gonna to continue to mow here without using it, but now I will go ahead and empty the basket.
And that's how many clippings or how much of clippings I have. I have still quite a bit of room here in the basket, but I'm going to go ahead and just empty it out just so I'll be good to go when I continue to mow here. All right, guys, so as you guys can see here, it's all emptied out. Now let me go ahead and just continue to mow, and we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, so let me kind of just show you guys the mower right now. As you can see here, it is definitely a little dirtier, you know? Uh, you know, the grass topper absolutely has its place. You know, I'm a big believer in it, but you know, one thing I also wanted to point out is when I installed the grass topper, it asks you guys to go ahead and install the hooks here versus here, which the manufacturer has set up. I didn't go ahead and change it back just because of the fact that I do use my topper quite a bit. If you go ahead and drop it down to there, you know, you could get better performance because that's what the manufacturer actually suggested when it comes to setting up your grass catcher. So you may want to give that a try. If you do not have the actual grass topper, you just go ahead and make sure it's on that middle hole. Uh, but for right now, I would absolutely say the grass shield is a right, win. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to mow the rest of my lawn here without a grass catcher. And I think this part of the video you guys will really enjoy because I'll be able to show you guys the reel in action and how well that grass extender really works uh, to be able to direct those clippings. step inside just for a second here uh, just to kind of cool off it is crazy crazy hot outside and I know you guys want to see the lawn and I'm going to show you the lawn in just a minute here but I talked about this earlier in the video where I have a very very important announcement you know when I first started YouTube I never knew how far this was going to go whether it was just going to be one video two video three videos whatever but I really kind of told myself if people wanted to continue to see content I would continue to make content. So I really wanted to base it on the feedback that I got, you know, from the subscribers and from people that have commented on my video. I've had some great feedback and Dwayne, you should be doing a lot more videos. You should have a lot more subscribers. So it kind of got me to thinking, well, 
you know what, what would be my next milestone? The first thing was just to be able to start a channel in the first place. The second milestone was to be able to get to a thousand subscribers. And I talked about this on a prior video where I was approaching that 1000 subscriber milestone, which I was very, very excited about. And I'm very happy to report that we met that 1000 subscriber milestone. And in fact, we're about 40 or 50 subscribers over that, which I'm very, very excited about. And that's because of you guys, not because of me, but because of you guys that I was able to actually hit that particular milestone. So in celebration of the 1000 subscriber milestone, what I did is I got with these guys right here over at California Trimmer. Now you guys know how big of a fan I am on the California Trimmer, as well as all the products that they sell to accessorize that particular reel mower. Now when talking to California Trimmer, one of the main guys over there, his name is Jim. And Jim, I wanna take a minute and just thank you for your generosity, because what Jim is doing for all you guys is he's going to be sponsoring a giveaway here on Dwayne's World. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this video as the platform to be able to do that giveaway. So there's a couple of things I need you guys to do if you want to participate in this particular giveaway. Now, even though it might be assumed, I just want to clarify that all of the prizes that I'll be giving away as part of my giveaway are from California Trimmer. So before I get into the actual prizes and what we'll be giving away, let me talk to you guys about the rules and what you need to do in order to participate in this giveaway. The first thing is very simple. You just gotta like this video. You know, give me a like, it really helps the algorithm and YouTube be able to send my channel to more viewers. So the more likes I get, the more it supports me. It doesn't cost you anything. So if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button, that definitely will help me out. The second thing is if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel. There's already over a thousand people that have that are enjoying the content and I wanna thank all of those subscribers. And this giveaway is really about giving back to my subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, you gotta subscribe in order to participate with this particular giveaway. And then the last thing is very simple. I just need you to comment on the video below. And the comment I want you to put in the actual video below is why you really enjoy lawn care. That's what I wanna know. Because I have a lot of different passions and a lot of reasons why I'm passionate. So I'm very interested to know your reasoning for why you're so passionate about what you do when it comes to your lawn. That's all you need to do. There's not a right or wrong answer. Within those comments, I'll be able to use a randomizer and be able to choose some lucky winners. So now let's talk about the prizes because I think you guys are very interested to know what these prizes are. Now the first prize I'll be giving away are a couple of hats, just like this one right here. I had California Trimmer send me a couple of these guys and I'll be able to send them to you guys as winners of the giveaway. All right, so the next prize I'll be giving away is a backlapping kit. This is a must if you own a California Trimmer and it's something that's really gonna help you out, especially if you just started real mowing. All right, so the last prize, which I consider the grand prize on this giveaway, is the product I'm featuring here today on Dwayne's World, and that is the Grass Shield Extender. California Trimmer has sent me two of these, one of which I'm able to use on this video here today, and another that I can give as part of the giveaway. So remember, in order to participate in this particular giveaway, you have to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel, and then on a future episode here on Dwayne's World, I'll be selecting our lucky winners. And with that, let's get back to the lawn. All right, guys, I gotta tell you, the lawn is looking great. That high to cut reset, I think really helped. You know, the new growth that came in, the color is just looking phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Look at that. Looking awesome. Let me turn it around and give you guys a better view. California trimmer with that grass shield putting in the work. Tell me that color's not on point. Tell me that stripe action ain't on point. It just looks fabulous. You know, I could still see my lines from the last mow going in that direction. I only mowed in this direction, but God, it is looking phenomenal. You know, it's gonna be sad. You know, we're getting close here to the end, even though we're at 100 degrees, but as soon as you know it, the temperature is gonna drop off and the Bermuda is definitely gonna slow down. Now in some of my upcoming videos, I'll talk about lawn care in the fall. I've got a, quite a few things that are planned for my channel in the fall, which I'm very excited about. But you guys are just gonna have to wait as we get closer to that. But let's go ahead and talk about the performance and my review and my thoughts on the grass shield. All right, Dwayne, so what are your thoughts? What is your review results on the California Trimmer Grass Shield? Well, first and foremost, if California Trimmer didn't send me one of these and I watched this video, I would absolutely buy one <laughs> because in my opinion, 
you know, my first comparison video comparing the California trimmer to the McLean. You know, in some ways, it was kind of a tie. You know, there was kind of wins and losses in each of the categories for each of the real mowers. But, you know, when I did my overall comparison video comparing four real mowers, the California trimmer won. And that was before this grass shield even had come to market. Now that the grass shield has come to market, I got to tell you, it was probably one of the only things, one of the very few things that I would say where maybe a McLean had a slight leg up, you know, on the California trimmer. You know, when I now have this grass shield, I got to tell you, you can't even compare the two anymore. You know, the McLean is a great mower, so don't take what I'm saying as a negative or a knock towards McLean. But when you look at all the features and benefits and the value of the California trimmer, you know, is one of the main reasons why I said it was the best real mower you can buy based on the four that I featured in my comparison video. But now when you add this grass shield extender, in my opinion, it takes it to another level because it fixes one of the issues that I think a lot of people have complained about when it comes to the California trimmer is how well it deflects the grass into the catcher. Now, I mentioned this earlier in the video that this is not a comparison or a review of the grass topper that Real Roller sells. But I would be lying if I said that they don't complement each other. In fact, it's like a very good marriage where the two definitely complement each other and one works much better with the other. So not that the grass topper doesn't work without the grass shield and it's not that the grass shield doesn't work without the topper. I just think when you combine the two, oh my goodness, it is an awesome formula. Now I didn't mention this in the video when I was actually mowing, but when you use the grass shield in combination with the grass topper, you can tell a lot more air is going into the grass catcher which is why the grass topper has that vent to be able to allow that air to come out. But you can absolutely see there's a lot more air because the topper wants to lift more than it was lifting before without the grass shield extender. I gotta tell you, even if they didn't send me one, I would have ordered one up because I could just tell based on the design and the way it looked that it was gonna be a great product. But now after using it, it is awesome. You know, and again, I'm not just saying that because it was sent to me. It is truly an awesome product. And if you have a California trimmer, I would highly recommend picking one up. If you don't have a California trimmer and you're looking to buy one, but I would say pick up one of these grass shields at the same time, because I believe that you will absolutely love it and it complements the mower very well. And again, it doesn't do any permanent modification. If you wanted to take it off, take it off. If you wanted to put it on, put it back on. You know, that's the thing I absolutely love about this accessory is that it is removable. All right, so with that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun being able to put it together for you. Again, thank you, Jim, over at California Trimmer for sponsoring the giveaway. And I'm really excited to see who's going to win those awesome prizes that we're going to be featuring here on Dwayne's World. So as always, until the next one, be excellent and party on. <music>